With the demand for space in our cities at a premium, rooftops and balconies are being called into service as backyards. But this next garden's proof that small spaces can still have big ideas and be really beautiful too. You might look at this rooftop and think, yeah, well, it's maintained within an inch of its life, so it's got all the expensive plants in it. I can't afford it or maintain them. But there's lots of things here that are just stock standard varieties. Viburnum is the hedge, which lots of people have in their backyards to screen off fences and neighbours. Works perfectly well here doing exactly the same thing. The most asked question I get for people who have balconies, patios or rooftops is, nothing will grow, what can I grow because it always dies? Number one simplest answer is something that's succulent. So all these ground covers that can handle a little bit of the heat and a little bit of drought and a little bit of the wind, which is all the things you get here because you don't have fences and houses and big trees to give you the shade, they thrive. The little plant there with the spiky leaf, it's a lovely contrast to the succulent below it. It's called Dietes, it's South African. It's one of the toughest plants you'll ever find. That's why you always see it planted in roundabouts. The agave, and even the buxus and the lower petalum. Now they're stock standard plants that you'll see in a cottage garden, but once they're established, they are some of the toughest and hardiest plants you'll ever get. And as for the garden beds, well, they're only shallow. Because it's on a roof, you need to keep things as light as possible. The garden bed's only about yay deep, and that's why this zoysia, which covers the ground like a lawn, is the perfect fix. It's relatively drought tolerant, and it brings something that you'd expect in a backyard, a lawn, into a rooftop. Best thing about this one, you don't have to mow it. With all the wind, all the sun, and shallow garden beds, they need to be well irrigated. But you can't see anything, because there's no pop-up sprayers or sprinkler heads above the ground which you get blown around everywhere and mess up all the glass, there's a drip system that runs through here, watering the roots and limiting the amount of evaporation. And all the garden beds go to drains and you don't have to worry about going through the next door neighbor ceiling. So this might be a small space, but it's also a beautiful low maintenance garden. And if the plants work here, they'll work anywhere.